do you know that one of the solar system's most fascinating systems is formed by Jupiter, its magnetic field and its moons? Although Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system, very little is known about its internal workings. The gas giant's top atmosphere has been photographed by telescopes in thousands of instances. But these Van Gogh-like storms also serve as a barrier that prevents us from seeing what lies beneath. Throughout the first few million years while the solar system was coming into existence, Jupiter was one of the first planets to form. Unfortunately, up until this point, we have very little information that is certain. What surprising find was made on Jupiter? Might life have sprung up there somewhere? Do any of the Galilean moons contain the elements necessary for life? Join us as we explore the secrets of Jupiter. The gas giant Jupiter, which orbits between Mars and Saturn, is the fifth planet from the Sun. With a mass that is more than 317 times that of Earth, it is by far the most enormous planet in our solar system. We got a glimpse of Jupiter's breathtaking beauty in 2016, when NASA's Juno space mission arrived there. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. It turns out to be covered in hurricanes in addition to the well-known Great Red Spot, giving it an appearance and aura of a Van Gogh painting. Yet the envelope of the planet under the thin visible layer is not immediately discernible. Nonetheless, by detecting the gravitational force above various Jupiter sites, Juno is able to provide us with a picture astronomers can now learn more about the interior's composition, which differs from that of the surface. A planetary-scale heat wave in Jupiter's atmosphere has been unexpectedly found by researchers at the Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency, JAXA. The heat wave covers an area of 130,000 kilometers, or 10 times the diameter of the Earth, and reaches temperatures of 700 degrees Celsius. As a result of the heat wave, Jupiter is hundreds of degrees hotter than originally anticipated. The wave of warmth, according to researchers, appears to extend from Jupiter's auroral area, which is close to the planet's north pole, to its equator. The greatest atmosphere in our solar system, that of Jupiter, is primarily composed of molecular hydrogen and helium, in quantities similar to those found in the Sun. Researchers have limited knowledge of the banded structure because each layer has a separate temperature gradient and complex patterns. The researchers found that Jupiter's atmosphere is surprisingly heated and is famous for its distinctive multicolored vortices. The temperature of Jupiter has not been found to be as hot as scientists had predicted because of its orbital distance from the Sun, which is millions of kilometers. As the gas giant receives only 4% as much sunlight as Earth does, its top atmosphere should theoretically reach freezing temperatures of minus 70 degrees. The cloud tops of Jupiter's atmosphere are recorded at above 400 degrees per area, defying assumptions of a frigid upper region. Jupiter receives auroras near its poles, similar to how Earth does due to solar wind. Yet compared to Earth's auroras, which are permanent and have varying intensities while occurring only during periods of high solar activity, auroras in Jupiter's atmosphere are transient and always present. They can grow to be so strong that they can raise temperatures at the poles to as much as 700 degrees, with global winds then redistributing the heat evenly around the globe. After further analysis, the research team concluded that the heat wave was traveling at rates exceeding thousands of kilometers per hour just beneath Jupiter's northern aurora. They came to the conclusion that a pulse of amplified solar wind plasma striking Jupiter's atmosphere's magnetic field was most likely what caused the heat wave to occur. The scientists discovered that modifications in the magnetic field increased auroral heating and compelled heated gases to expand which caused them to spill out toward the equator. These heat wave events serve as extra important energy sources while the auroras continue to provide heat to the rest of the Earth. 
These discoveries advance our understanding of Jupiter's upper atmosphere's weather and climate and greatly aid our efforts to find a solution to the energy issue that bedevils the study of the giant planets. On the other hand, in Jupiter's cloud-covered womb, scientists recently discovered the remains of cannibalized newborn planets. The discovery puts an end to a protracted argument about how the gas giant was created. Scientists have discovered that the interior of Jupiter is filled with the fragments of young planets that the gas giant ate up as it grew to become the enormous objects we see today. The conclusions resulting from the planet's outer atmosphere's chemistry are seen clearly for the first time. In the new study, gravitational data gathered by NASA's Juno space probe allowed scientists to finally see through Jupiter's shroud of clouds. With the use of this information, the team was able to map out the rocky composition of the massive planet's core, which showed a shockingly large quantity of heavy metals. The chemical composition of Jupiter suggests that it consumed planetesimals or young planets to fuel its rapid expansion. Jupiter began its life by accreting rocky material, just like every other planet in the solar system. Today, it may primarily be a ball of swirling gas. The planet's rocky core grew increasingly dense as more and more rocks were drawn in by the planet's gravity. This dense core began drawing massive amounts of gas from a great distance, primarily hydrogen and helium left over from the Sun's creation to form the planet's massive atmosphere. In contrast, 12 new moons have been found around Jupiter, bringing the total to a record-breaking 92. No other planet in our solar system has more than that. With 83 known moons, Saturn, the former leader, comes in a close second. In 2021 and 2022, the 12 new moons were found with the aid of telescopes in Hawaii and Chile, and subsequently studies confirmed their orbits. Their most recent moons are between 0.6 and 2 miles in diameter, or 1 km to 3 km. The newly found moons of Jupiter have not yet been given names. Just half of them are significant enough to merit a name, measuring at least one mile or one and a half kilometers in length. The European Space Agency will send a spacecraft to Jupiter in April to conduct research on the planet and several of its largest icy moons. And next year, NASA will launch the Europa Clipper to explore Jupiter's moon of the same name, which could house an ocean beneath its icy crust. Further information about this interesting planet and its natural satellites will be revealed by the ESA's Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer, or JUICE, which is scheduled for launch in 2023 and arrival at Jupiter in 2031. From Jupiter's tumultuous atmosphere to the alleged existence of liquid oceans on three of its planet-sized moons, Ganymede, Europa and Callisto, the mission will focus on five key areas. JUICE will answer two of the Cosmic Vision Program's fundamental questions. How does the solar system function? And what are the prerequisites for the creation of planets and the appearance of life? The Galilean moons are the four largest moons orbiting Jupiter. Of these, three, Ganymede, Europa and Callisto, with the exception of Io, which is not known to be a water world, are believed to have oceans of liquid water hidden beneath their icy crusts. How deep are these oceans? And how far below the surface do they begin? And also, how much of each type of water do they contain? All three moons' surfaces differ from one another, showing a mixture of older, darker, deeply pitted parts and whiter, more recent, faintly grooved terrains. On some of these moons, there is proof of historical or ongoing geological activity. JUICE will investigate the Moon's current levels of activity and investigate how active they may have been in the past, creating a thorough portrait of this dynamic trio. This portrait will include information about how their mass is distributed internally, how their interiors have changed over time, and whether they have experienced tectonics or icy volcanism. And what makes Ganymede so special? 
the largest moon in the solar system, larger than Pluto and Mercury, and the only one with an intrinsic magnetic field, Ganymede, will be the focus of JUICE's primary scientific investigation among the three moons. Only Mercury and Earth, both of which are planets and one of which supports life, are the other solid bodies in the solar system that produce dipole fields like Ganymede. An excellent natural laboratory for researching the characteristics and nature of frozen worlds is Ganymede. JUICE's primary objective is to characterize this moon, but it will also use its observations of Europa and Callisto to compare all three of Jupiter's water worlds. The spacecraft, which will be the first ocean world orbiter ever, will measure Ganymede's rotation, gravity, shape, and interior structure, as well as its magnetic field and composition. It will also use radar to penetrate its icy crust down to a depth of about 9 kilometers. To properly comprehend the activities occurring in the lunar space environment, JUICE will also examine the water vapor and other chemicals in Ganymede's atmosphere. This entails investigating how Ganymede particles fill the outer layers of the Moon's thin atmosphere, which is composed of hot ionized matter, plasma, as well as comprehending how the Moon's environment interacts with Jupiter's magnetic field, plasma populations, and radiation belts. Could life exist in the Jupiter system now or have existed in the past? One of JUICE's main goals is to determine whether the Jovian moons have the proper conditions for habitability. JUICE will examine if the conditions for life could have ever arisen on Ganymede, Europa or Callisto by analyzing the hidden oceans, magnetism, heating processes, tidal effects, surface activities, cores and compositions, atmospheres and space habitats of the Galilean moons. JUICE will assist us in understanding these worlds as potential homes for life, as well as planetary bodies. High-resolution mapping from JUICE will look for biologically necessary and significant components, such as carbon, oxygen, nitrogen, magnesium and iron. Given their buried underground oceans, these moons represent particularly fascinating possibilities for life. Understanding how habitable they are will help us better grasp how habitable cold worlds generally are across the universe, with scientific ramifications that go far beyond the Jupiter system itself. Moreover, JUICE's second target, the larger Jupiter system, will provide additional information regarding the potential for habitability in other planetary systems with a comparable composition orbiting other stars. The Jupiter system serves as a model for the several massive planets that are now known to orbit stars other than the Sun and the solar system's gas giants. Understanding the formation and evolution of gas planets and their moons is one of JUICE's main goals. Understanding the formation, development and evolution of Jupiter and its moons will shed much-needed light on the formation, development and evolution of such a planetary system and its constituents over time, as well as on the emergence of potentially habitable environments in Jupiter-like systems around other stars in general. JUICE will make it possible to fully characterize Jupiter as a planet and a system. It will examine how planetary systems like Jupiter's function both within and outside the solar system. For instance, on a typical huge planet, how does the weather, chemistry and climate of Jupiter evolve over time? JUICE will study Jupiter's dynamic atmosphere from its orbit in order to identify the processes that give rise to and shape it. From Jupiter's lower layers, which support weather and give the planet its unique banded look, up through the middle and upper layers which are affected by solar heating and chemistry, the spacecraft will investigate Jupiter's atmosphere. JUICE will show how these many layers are put together and connected, how waves, energy material and winds travel between them, how external forces such as cometary and other small body impacts affect Jupiter's atmosphere, and how various atmospheric processes interact. JUICE will make the most of its long journey through this region of space by keeping a closer eye on the Jupiter system as well. 
Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.